It's time to take a look at what's new with the Nebraska offense. For more, here's Husker Countdown's Jake Bartecki. For Husker Countdown, I'm Jake Bartecki. Lost, finally, that first win as Nebraska head coach. The Nebraska Cornhuskers finally broke through, ending a long stretch of losses with a 53-28 thumping of Minnesota. For the last few weeks, I've been emphasizing the improvement of the offensive unit and how it looked to be at its best from week to week. However, this past weekend truly looked like the Husker offense could not have been much better, totaling 659 total yards, 383 rushing, and 276 through the air. In addition, the Huskers had three players exceed 100 yards on the ground against one of the best rushing defenses in the Big Ten. Entering this afternoon's game, Nebraska has exceeded 475 offensive yards for three straight games, a mark the team hadn't hit in 10 years. Adrian Martinez continues to impress and gain national recognition after being named Co-Big Ten Freshman of the Week with Purdue's Rondale Moore. Co-Freshman Player of the Week? Who's the other one? Oh yeah, he, he deserves it too. <laughs> Martinez threw for 276 yards, rushing for 125 with four total touchdowns in the win over Minnesota last weekend. Coach Scott Frost knows the talent of this true freshman. For him to be doing what he's doing at his age, I've said it a bunch, but it's pretty impressive. And I didn't realize he was 25 or 29 and um, really had another one that got dropped. Their middle of field safety made a good play on another one, and he threw another one away. So it's hard to be much more efficient than that. As the offense has progressed throughout the season, so has the run game. The Huskers' backfield consists of freshman Maurice Washington and veteran Devine Ozigbo. The speed and agility of Washington combined with the power and strength of Ozigbo makes a tough situation for opposing defenses. Troy Walters believes the run game and the whole offensive unit benefits from stellar blocking. We'll take 15 minutes out of a practice and, and work three different stations, three different block, blocking drills. and. You know, we understand the importance of, of blocking across the board on the perimeter by the receivers, the offensive line, obviously uh, even running backs and pass protections. And so uh, we make it a point of emphasis and uh, those guys, uh, they've responded well. Today, the Huskers turn their attention to the Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman. As this week was originally scheduled as a Nebraska bye week, the team has been more laid back in terms of the week's practices, but are not taking their matchup with the Wildcats lightly. Today's game could present an opportunity for the Nebraska offense to continue to flex their muscles as Bethune-Cookman's defense allows opponents about 570 yards per game. Nebraska enters today's contest averaging about 555 yards in their last three games. Expect to see an extra dose of Stanley Morgan today as the senior wideout found his groove against Minnesota, hauling in 10 catches for 163 yards with a pair of touchdowns. A matchup with a susceptible FCS defense could mean a big day is ahead for Morgan. The Huskers will look to make it two in a row this afternoon, something they haven't done since last season when they won consecutive games against Illinois and Rutgers. For Husker Countdown, I'm Jake Bartek.